uh, our friend has mentioned this uh, beautiful temple from the also. And uh, the second suggestion which he has made is that uh, all the green summities and establishing in the school as a first one. Hi. As one of the members who participated in the fast for the past two days, I was just continuing the fast which was forcefully evicted by three of our brothers on the first three days. So I was participating, we were, we were participating in the fast for the last five days and I should inform with very deep regret with a lot of hurt, with a lot of loss and failure that the talks which were done at the last moment on the fifth day evening the VC came here for having a dialogue with us the talks have vehemently failed I have two reasons for that the first reason is the VC, the Vice Chancellor Professor Ramakrishna Ramaswamy even after five days of hunger strike by nine different people was not willing to accept was not willing to accept that there was some problem importantly discrimination due to caste in the suicides of the students in this university and this is categorically very sad to say even after nine students who betted their, their life towards having justice when where there was impossible for any justice when there was injustice the VC comes on the fifth day and says that he has been constructive. He is looking forward to work with us without accepting that there was caste discrimination in this campus or there is caste discrimination in this campus. This is very sad and we are calling off this hunger strike because, because it has not worked in affecting any change though there were a lot of repercussions throughout India. A lot of repercussions throughout India. Our VC seems to say that there was nothing happening and that this seems to be something which doesn't affect him to initiate any change to him at least. He hasn't accepted. He gave a civics lesson to us on what is the duties of the vice chancellor. <coughs> Though he didn't tell when he fails what he should do. And when we demanded that he should first resign his position so that a judicial probe can be initiated. And he has committed that he himself has suggested three names for the judicial probe with the chairperson from AP, uh, a retired AP High Court. He himself has chosen them and another two more persons, though he has accepted five more people can be suggested from our group. And he just tells that he will not come down from his position for his failure in implementing whatever institution lapses that he was signing through over so many deaths in this campus. As we all know, the Madhari Venkatesh was not the first suicide in this campus, first Dalit suicide in this campus due to institutional lapse that we believe is due to caste discrimination. And he is not willing to accept and he is not initiating any change by implying any change on him first. So we have thought that we will change the form of protest from now onwards by calling off this protest and moving into a very aggressive manner. Thank you. Immediately after the death of Madhari Venkatesh, on the bomb of, of Raju Venkatesh Solidarity Committee, an agitation was set up in a context where the Vice Chancellor has failed to address the written assurance which he has given in front of uh, after immediately after the death of uh, Madhari Venkatesh and also immediately after the Executive Council happened, wherein he has uh, he is offered that after the release of uh, Professor V. Krishna Committee report, 
he will act on the report and he'll take a decision on punishing the guilty and also a resignation which he himself offered which he himself agreed uh, if he is found guilt professor v krishna committee report has clearly pointed out that on july 18th when the student has submitted a representation on non allotment of guide and also on one professor acting as doctoral committee and doctoral committee not being there for 7 months the vice chancellor didn't act on that representation and in november also there was a meeting which was held in akram which was research advisory board meeting in which the guide allotment issue will be discussed in which the students guide allotment issue was not discussed and two did a two days before the suicide of madari venkatesh madari venkatesh has approached one of the faculty wherein the faculty has told that you have to start the work from beginning you have to start the work from zero if you have to work with me that has i mean not only that one but it the suicide happened in a cumulative fashion in 2011 when he got admission into this university he was not allotted with any guide he had to roam roam around all faculties he has literally begged each and every faculty to take him in no one has accepted to take him in then the director didn't had any option but to take him as uh, as a student under the uh, be, being there as a director and it was a clear cut example of caste discrimination in this university the caste discrimination has been established in various other cases also when sendil kumar in 2008 has died on the same issue and and then uh, bal raju on caste discrimination in telugu department and then puliyala raju and the next one is madari vengadesh today when we had this discussion with the vice chancellor we were asked him a simple question dear vice chancellor will you accept that there is caste discrimination prevailing in this campus and we don't want your resignation we want a real change to happen in this campus he said he was not accepting there is caste discrimination then how can we say a change in this university as a head of the institution he has been found as guilt and a prime office has been established hence he must resign that was our initial demand now with the kind of legislation which we adopted of hunger strike see dr b r ambedkar when he has adopted an agitation of mahad mahad to take forward the demand of right to water when everyone seems to have opposed it he has fought it legally he wanted to change the system legally not through the changing of individuals because changing up of individuals only can happen through the change of set of ideas that's where he has changed to the converted into buddhism hence we also are going to change the mode of agitation because in dharampuri when mangalmal has died there were many who have shed tears for the death of mangalmal but still the burning of 450 houses still the death of filavarasan still stands there hence we wanted to call up this mode of agitation and we wanted to take into a higher level of agitation where we want to fought it legally and also in a more aggressive manner that's what we have decided and we are going to start the agitation in such manner and we seek the support from entire entire universities and also the civil society so called civil society and the scst faculties should take the responsibility because they were sitting aside him they know what he has said they know how he has reacted when we posed the question of caste discrimination on to him they should make him learn and on this ground itself he should resign the next mode of agitation will not be on resigning but it will be on dismiss the vice chancellor our slogan would be dismiss the vice chancellor final final see ramakrishna ram like like sir what that can do dear friends it is a clear indication of who has the right to live in modern institution or to be present in modern institution a dignified human being
How? Why? I, I will put it in a different way. Why? The over presence of Brahmins, elites, in our modern institutions are very prevalent. We need to address this question. It is not the question of a death. It is a question of being. Why? Because every entrance of marginalized community is considered to be a considered to be a coming of a person who being in the past. Why? Because they are presupposing that they are lacking certain kind of modern capability to articulate in the sphere of modernity and the, its institutions. So, the idea itself, the idea of being is completely negated by the Brahminic institution force. So, I am saying that the question of our struggle is not simply for the question of death or suicide. It is the question of for an ethical being of marginal communities in the modern institution, just like a, a, a privilege and uh, just like a dignified human being. So, until unless reclaiming our right to be in present and to demolish and destabilize the our hegemonic presence of Brahmins, our struggle will continue. Hey, Arun. Arun, <laughs> Teaching faculty, non teaching staff, sweepers, Vidyarthu, Shaplo, Shaplo, Panjeswal, Shaplo, Andro, Padioka, Charakani, Visi Matan, Visi and Untan, and in a Visi Bosha and a Chimchalako, I know Matan Rotsu. So, is Jagrataga in a Mussolin Laga, Hitler Laga part of this town of Nicara. I know Durmaga. Yeah, Adipati and Chu the Mali good of Sari Brahmanism into the market on the East Town. Main Kachanga, Ikara, why in a Bausha Mamalikan Jetiwe Utsu, and Bausha Mamal Jello with Utsu, and Bausha Mamal Jasper with Utsu. Car Chetro Chasandra Bala de Jirinagani, Chetro Likra Porana Agale, Magunturi Lokuno Chagani, Kuni Wanda Guntur Malio Saint Elias Townam, VC Ramasam Ramakushaku, Ukadi Kirkan Yipalaskunam, Memu, Memu, I next friends of Chagani and Mak VC. May Maritene and a VC. I know the Ranami under Mimal Parpalisante, Mimopuran Kishan Galedo, I know Memo, Visiga, Gurtinchan Ledo, I know Maku Visi Kadu. First of all, I'm clearly, I'm finally, I'm finally, I'm clearly telling that Idrozunci, Ikada, my campus VC Ledo, we are going to give an advertisement in the paper. We want a VC. Clear it in that we don't have any we don't have VC here. They are going to we are gonna be uh, give an advertisement give an advertisement in the paper. We want a VC like dog and like a pig. Thank you. Who said after uh, we uh, take to the hospital? We we were arrested and we take to the hospital and immediately uh, these five people uh, uh, Lenny and Vipin and uh, Uday Banu. Then uh, Vijay, Padapudi, and uh, Arun. So I really appreciate these five people. After we were arrested and we take to the hospital, these really these people take a very uh, kind of uh, immediate action and they sat on our actually this platform. So it is it is my personal feeling that every movement will have gaps. Okay. So it is it is not. A, it is not a permanent gap and we are going to identify the another ways of agitation and another way, way, ways of uh, movement so we will inform and uh, we will thank each and everybody thank you very much on behalf of Raju and Vengadesh Solidarity Committee I would, look, I would like to say that this is not a 
This is not our committee failure. This is an institutional failure where the institution has literally and utterly failed to annihilate the cash in the so-called mainstream university. And moreover, I would like to say <coughs> where this, 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 this institution has utterly failed to annihilate the caste system in the campus. And moreover, how the village, how the federalists and bourgeoisies have not allowed the Dalits and tribe students for the education, as well as this however, these uh, Dalit and tribal students are able to cross their village borders, but they are able to reach the mainstream universities like University of Hyderabad and JNU. But where they, where we can call the intellectual hubs, there itself, among the intellectual hubs, these Dalits and tribal students are literally facing their caste atrocities and they are made to commit suicides. And now I would like to say this: all the professors are intellectuals, are not the educated. They are just literators. They are just literates. They are not the educators. They are not educated as much as these Dalits and tribal students are. So, on behalf of this Raju and uh, Bangladesh Solidarity Committee, we would like to thank each and every uh, organization and every media which has supported us so far. And thank you very much. No, no, wait. Should I introduce myself? <laughs> Whatever. Do I need something? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm Bipin. I'm, I was one of the participants in hunger strike, <coughs> uh, which we started five years ago. Uh, one of the things I want to say is how our university functions in exactly the way how our state, Indian state functions. Because uh, our university includes our vice, vice chancellor and administration, they have been trying to manage crisis, they have been trying to manage people. So therefore, that's what Indian state does to many, many, um, many, many reasons. For example, in northeast, for example, in in in, in, in tribal Zarkhan belt, and also in Kashmir. So Indian state basically manage this 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 pro uh, problematic population, problematic uh, reason. So that's exactly what our vice chancellor and administration is doing to us because. Dalits or the discriminated section of people are a problem for the administration and also a problem for vice chancellor. So therefore, vice chancellor has to manage and 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 and, and bring out a solution which is the solution which is beneficial for them, not for us. So, uh, in in our talk with vice chancellor uh, some few uh, few minutes ago, uh, one of the questions that we have uh, very importantly raised is. Is that is that the vice chancellor should accept that there is caste discrim discrimination in, in in our campus, which he was giving some uh, very ambiguous, uh, uh, indeterminate answer. Uh, one one of the questions that we uh, uh, the, the uh, Raju Venkatesh committee was raising is that that without without accepting without without accepting accepting there is a caste system caste discrimination in the campus or, or, or also in India how are we going to address caste issue in in the campus so first in order to address in order to address caste issue in in the campus first of all we should accept caste discrimination exists in the campus so therefore in a way uh, I mean this is also an appeal uh, to the larger audience which uh, who are watching this video and uh, and also mostly to the students community all over India that all the marginal section uh, the lead ST, ST OBC uh, religious minority we should all come together and see what we can do against this very brahminical very powerful they have they have I I ideological tools in their hands they have machinery tools in their hand in order to sub subsume suppress us so therefore all the marginal section should come together to fight against this brahminical uh, state and, and institution thank you on behalf of Raju Venkatesh Solidarity Committee, and we are very, very grateful to the media, uh, uh, especially uh, Times of India, Hindu, Deccan Chronicle, Indian Express, and all English media. They supported a lot our cause, and also even Telugu media also uh, supported. And each and every day, even electronic media. Uh, like uh, T News, V6, VC, uh, uh, CVR, and uh, TV9, and uh, ABN Andhra Jyoti, and all this media, they really supported our cause actually. See, uh, we, we actually, uh, the protest that we are uh, doing here, it actually went all over the country uh, through the uh, 
through the help of uh, this media people only. So, uh, in this uh, in this uh, in this regard, actually, on behalf of the committee, I want to express our uh, grateful thanks to uh, this media people. Thank you. In University of Hyderabad, it is clearly noticed that there is a caste discrimination in the campus, where even after the suicide of Pulyala Raju and the implementation of the recommendations that the university has not taken into consideration. And apart from that, one more incident has taken place by Mr. Venkatesh. So by this, we can understand that there is a negligency and clear-cut discrimination among from the higher authority and different departments towards the Dalit community. However, this incident the fast unto death decision taken by the Solidarity Committee of Raju and Venkatesh has created an historical aspect in the campus where with this fast unto death the campus community has sensitized that all the communities like SC, ST and OBCs and minorities are together for a cause and apart from that the non-teaching and the other uh, workers are also part of the Solidarity Committee. We express our sincere thanks for all the students and staff and non-teaching staff who has been part of our movement and had created a historical event in the world. After the decision taken by the Pulyala Raju and Venkatesh committee, we have gone for the fast unto death. And even the vice chancellor and the administration has failed to address our issues in the campus but we have sensitized the campus that their acceptance and their negligence in addressing our issues to the campus community and however finally we say that the administration has accepted that there is a clear-cut discrimination in the campus including the caste discrimination among the SESTs and OBCs. So, we appeal the campus community, the concerned departments, professors, heads and all to even to understand the problems of the students and to address their issues and to show the concern to the marginalized sections where we are the first generation students who are coming from the rural background and having the uh, mother tongue language and it is uh, the responsibility of the faculty to develop the student and make them to sustain in the life and also we request the administration to take up the issues which are pertaining to the uh, students especially why because as the administration is responsible for each and everything in the campus. They have to address especially the student problems right from the beginning of the admission to the end of his course. Where because of the lack of administration procedures and their uh, support in academics, the students have been committing suicides and there has been creating a problem in uh, awarenessing the students in the campus. We also request the administration uh, to take proper measures that have been adopted from the 
different committees like uh, Vinod Pavarala Committee, Professor Krishna Committee in case of Kulyala Raju and Professor Krishna Committee in case of Madhari Venkatesh. And we also feel that we are not going to end up this issue. We are going to take this issue at the national level. Why? Because as we are the students, we have to look after the students' welfare and as the examinations are approaching and there are various vacations in the campus. So we do understand the problems of the student and uh, we are taking this issue to the national wide within few days where we are not going to I mean, leave the concern authority and the professors who are involved in the death of Madhari Venkatesh. We are also going to uh, meet the President of India, the Prime Minister, the concerned Minister of UG, uh, Minister uh, HRD and even the UGC Chairman and we are go going to pressurize the government of Andhra Pradesh uh, on the legal basis also. Uh, on uh, land, law and order, we are going to meet the DGP and file a case against uh, the university authorities who have been involved in the accused, who have been involved in case of Madhari Venkatesh. So with this, we feel that uh, we have succeeded in our uh, uh, activity and we do uh, take this solidarity and enthusiasm uh, for the welfare of the uh, SCST OBs and OBCs and minorities in the campus and uh, we strengthen ourselves and we will show our unity in the campus. Thank you. We, uh, we as a uh, part of the uh, Kulyal Raju and uh, Madhari Vangitesh Solidarity Committee, we are uh, as, a resist as, the, as a resistance of uh, uh, enrollment of Vice Chancellor in his uh, uh, death. We are on hunger strike since five days. Uh, we are demanding that the Vice Chancellor has directly involved in, in this uh, matter of committing suicide by this uh, uh, Madhari Vangitesh. So we uh, put a demand that Vice Chancellor must be stepped down from his post by accepting moral responsibility. Moral responsibility. But after five days also, he is not able to accept his responsibility. That's why we want to change our uh, form of the protest. That's why we are going to uh, take up this hunger uh, strike. Over. Over. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I am Sunkarna. Uh, I am Sunkarna doing PhD in philosophy and I have been observing in this campus for the past nine years uh, regarding this casteist uh, uh, issues in this campus. Uh, even I myself who was a, one fellow who faced this problem, caste based. Yeah. I'm Sunkarna, uh, <coughs> doing PhD philosophy and I was also part of this uh, protest and uh, for four days we had uh, protest, hunger strike, indefinite hunger strike and with the demands of VCC resignation but uh, we see after all doing all these hesitations also shamelessly we see didn't accept his resignation and in this particular issue we failed to convince VC to get his resignation so from tomorrow onwards we are going to start this hesitation in a different man uh, forms but this uh, indefinite hunger strike thing we are going to stop today so uh, different forms of uh, hesitations we are going to start in that we are not going to leave vice chancellor or who are showing this caste-based discrimination in this campus. So, uh, we will all unite the Dalit people in this campus and we take forward this movement ahead. Thank you. So, myself, Venkatesh Arlu. I am doing MPhil Economics here only. So, as we saw just now, as VC came here and he was talking with our Dalit people who was protesting here. and. Uh, how negligently he was showing his attitude towards our people and how he is irresponsible over the incidents which was happened 
mainly the Venkateshwarlu suicide incident. And it shows that it's complete caste discrimination which is going on in the University of Hyderabad. And uh, this is like a institutional murder and uh, deliberately which was done uh, in the departments. And whenever we see in the admissions times and also in many other places, the caste discrimination is vital and it's spreading in the university in very rapidly. And we can see the uh, this kind of murders which is going uh, water under the mat and which is not completely, which is not coming outside the campus, mainly in the society and media also not focusing this kind of issues. And, uh, and the, this kind of things, uh, as we see, just now he came and he was talking with us and he is not at all accepting with our demands, whatever which we, we were written, uh, which we were putting in front of him. And one thing is that we see resignation and also punish the guilty who was culprits in this incident. And he is not even accepting that there is a caste discrimination which is there in the campus. This kind of thing, things which, which is going in the campus and it is very really shameful for the university administration and also university uh, vice chancellor and also whole society. And from here and we are we the people of all Dalit versions, we are strongly uh, and we, we are going to protect protect uh, protest and we are not going to stop this kind of movement uh, in our future and this is the first step which we are going uh, we are taking uh, from here only and we are not at all going to stop this movement and definitely we will we will struggle until the until the until the, the those culprits who are there and also we see who is the who is the main culprit who is uh, who is like uh, punished until that we will struggle it Varatana dinadu Swatantra mukaradani Durga shamuladu bedala pai Adara padi bratakalani Asti hakugani Swatantra palo chanagani Kaligi wunda radani Murka muga nasinchina Manu dharma shastrani Samadu chesi Hindu kod bilu toga nudam bet karudu Kranti darishi ayi Kranti darishi ayi Bhojana dalamu dandu ka kadalalo Inade bhojana Manu dharma niki mantalu pettala Manamanta bhojana rajam maru vakate wala Bhojana dalamu dandu ka kadalalo Inade manu dharma niki mantalu pettala Manamanta bhojana rajam maru vakate wala Bhojana dalamu dandu ka kadalalo Manu dharma niki mantal pettala Mana manta bahujana rajam maru vakate wala Bahujana dalamu dandu ka kadalalo Inade manu dharma niki mantal pettala Mana manta bahujana rajam maru vakate wala Brahmana kshetriya vaisya sodra chatur varna lani jeptun naru Chatur varna lani jeptun naru Chatur varna lani jeptun naru Halalo nunchi brahmana puttenu pujala nundi kshetri yalanta பாதாலாலாலாலாலாலாலாலாலாலாலாலாலாலாலாலாலாலாலாலாலாலாலாலாலாலாலாலாலாலாலாலாலாலாலாலாலாலாலாலாலாலாலாலாலாலாலாலா
సాకలి మంగలి శాఖీరీలతో సోకులు చేసి తిరుగుతున్నారు సోకులు చేసి తిరుగుతున్నారు సోకులు చేసి తిరుగుతున్నారు సాకలి మంగలి శాఖీరీలతో సోకులు చేసి తిరుగుతున్నారు సోకులు చేసి తిరుగుతున్నారు సోకులు చేసి తిరుగుతున్నారు అరవై ఏళ్ళ స్వాతంత్రంలో ఆరణి అగ్ని రగిలిస్తున్నారు ఆరణి అగ్ని రగిలిస్తున్నారు ఆరణి అగ్ని రగిలిస్తున్నారు కులాలు మీవి పొలాలు మావని భూజల యజ్ఞం చేసేస్తున్నారు ఆ పంట పొలాల్లో శాఖరి జీవులమాకమా చెమటలు కార్చి శాఖరి చేసేమా మీ పొలాలల్లో మా కండలు కరిగి శవాలు అయ్యేమా బహుజన దళము దండుల కదలాలు ఈనాడే మన ధర్మానికి మంటలు పెట్టాలా మనమంతా బహుజన రాజ్యం మరొక తేవాలాలో ఊపి అంబేద్కరుడు మాలో త్యాగం కాంక్షీ రాము మాలో త్యాగం కాంక్షీ రామే మాలో త్యాగం కాంక్షీ రామే జ్యోతి రావు నారాయణ గురు సాహు మహారా సంకల్పంతో సాహు మహారా సంకల్పంతో సాహు మహారా సంకల్పంతో సగర్వంబుగా సాటి చెప్పుతాం సముద్రాలనే చాప చుట్టుతాం నీలి పతాకా లెగరేస్తాం ఇంకా ఇంటింటా ఈ మాటలను ముగ్గులు వేస్తాము భోజనలా గుండెల్లు మేము నిద్దుర పోతాము భోజన దళము దండుగ కదలాలు ఈనాడి మన ధర్మానికి మంటలు పెట్టాలా మనమంతా భోజన రాజ్యం మరొక తేవాలా వద్దిల్లాలి దళిత భోజన ఆత్మ గౌరవ పోరాటాలు డాక్టర్ బాబా సాహెబ్ అంబేద్కర్ ఇంకొక బట్ డిసెంబరు ఆరో తేదీన దళితుల హక్కుల జ్యోతి ఆరి పోయినా 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 దళిత జాతిలో పుట్టి జగతికి వెలుగైనావు దళిత జాతిలో పుట్టి జగతికి వెలుగైనావు జాతి గుండెల్ల నీవు వారని జ్యోతిగా వెలుగొందావు ఈ జాతి గుండెల్ల నీవు స్వార్థం లేని నిస్వార్థుడవు దళితుల హక్కుల కోసం రణము చేసినావు డిసెంబరు ఆరో తేదీన దళితుల హక్కుల జ్యోతి ఆరి పోయినా డిసెంబరు ఆరో తేదీన దళితుల హక్కుల జ్యోతి ఆరి పోయినా డిసెంబరు ఆరో తేదీన నీవు పెట్టిన రిజర్వేషన్ పొందినట్టు ఈ దళిత జాతులు నీవు పెట్టిన రిజర్వేషన్ పొందినట్టు ఈ దళిత జాతులు నీ పేరు వింటినే దూరం పోతారు మీ హక్కుల మాత్రం పొందుతుంటారు డిసెంబరు ఆరో తేదీన దళితుల హక్కుల జ్యోతి ఆరి పోయినా డిసెంబరు ఆరో తేదీన దళితుల హక్కుల జ్యోతి ఆరి పోయినా అంబేద్కరు మన నాయకుడంతా అందరము కలిసి ఉండాలంటారు ఆశ 
ಪೂಜೆಯಾಲನೇ ಮನಸಿ ಪೋತರು ಪಕ್ಕ ಪೂಲ ದಂಡನಿ ಮೃಡಲು ಹೋಲಿಸ್ತರು ಡಿಸೆಂಬರು ಆರೋದೆ ದಿನ ದಳಿತುಲ ಹಕ್ಕುಲ ಜ್ಯೋತಿ ಯಾರಿ ಪೋಯನ ಡಿಸೆಂಬರು ಆರೋದೆ ದಿನ ದಳಿತುಲ ಹಕ್ಕುಲ ಜ್ಯೋತಿ ಯಾರಿ ಪೋಯನ ದಲಿತ ಪುಲು ಅರೇ ಕಾರಣ ಚಡುಬು ಸಾಮುಲ ತೋಟಿ ಕಲಬಲಿ ನಿಲಬಡಿ ಬೋರು ಜೇಸಿನ ದಲಿತ ಪುಲು ಲಮ್ಮ ಕಾರಣ ಚಡುಬು ಸಾಮುಲ ತೋಟಿ ಕಲಬಲ ನಿಲಬಡಿ ಬೋರು ಜೇಸಿನ ದಲಿತ ಪುಲು ಲಮ್ಮ ಅರೆ ಕಾರಣ ಚಡುಲು ಕಲದ ಪಲ್ಲೆ ಪಲ್ಲೆ ಪೇರು ರಾ ಮಾದಿಕ ಪಲ್ಲೆ ಪಲ್ಲೆ ಪೇರು ರಾ ಮಾದಿಕ ಪಲ್ಲೆ ಪಲ್ಲೆ ಪೇರು ರಾ ಮಾದಿಕ ಪಲ್ಲೆ ಮಾಲ ಸಾಹೇಬ್ ಕೋಯ ಒಡ್ಡರಕು ಮಾದಿಕ ಪಲ್ಲೆ ತಲ್ಲಿ ಲಾಂಟಿದಿ ಮಾದಿಕ ಪಲ್ಲೆ ತಲ್ಲಿ ಲಾಂಟಿದಿ ಮಾದಿಕ ಪಲ್ಲೆ ತಲ್ಲಿ ಲಾಂಟಿದಿ ಕರಣ ಕೋರಿನ ಶತ್ರು ನೈನ ಪ್ರೇಮಗ ದೂಸೆ ಪೇದಲ ಪಲ್ಲೆ ಪ್ರೇಮಗ ದೂಸೆ ಪೇದಲ ಪಲ್ಲೆ ಪ್ರೇಮಗ ದೂಸೆ ಪೇದಲ ಪಲ್ಲೆ ಜನರಲ್ ಸೆಕ್ರೆಟರಿ ಆಫ್ ಬಹುಜನ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ ಸಿಂಕಟೇಶ್ವರ್ಸೈಡ್ but it is uh, in my you there is not it, that is not uh, there is not a suicide that is absolutely by uh, the murder of administration but killed by the administration they are killed by the administration in form of caste discrimination they are not allowed uh, to guide the the people are not allowed to guide minimum taking seven more than seven months he is chemistry department but he is in charge only on physics professor how it is possible to doing thesis this is uh, the caste discrimination not only in form of allowing guys when one student died in campus that one that time only we are uh, getting the question of caste discrimination the caste discrimination have been happening in campus many forms like uh, giving the marks to the students in internals and uh, uh, giving the grade to the students in national and also uh, taking to seat in phd and mphil uh, mphil level in in that form also showing discrimination caste discrimination in hsu is hsu is become as a Brahm- uh, brahmanical agrahara the bigger why why i am saying is the brahmic agahara in this hsu many uh, most more than 50% of these professors as only brahmins actually uh, the only brahmins because of that i am saying is the hsu is a brahmanical agahara society uh, agahara society in this ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಗಲಿಂಗ್ ಅಗ್ನೆಸ್ಟ್ ದ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣಿಕಲ್ ಅಗ್ರಹಾರ ಸೊಸೈಟಿ ಇನ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ರಾಜು ಅಂಡ್ ಎಂಕರೇಜ್ ಸೋಲಿಡಾರಿಟಿ ಕಮಿಟಿ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ committee the bhojan student friend also one of the part of the member we are we are putting the demands in front of the admission the first demand is the resignation of vice chancellor and second one is judiciary probe into the institutional murder of venkatesh and punish the guilty and finally employment to kings of raju and venkatesh in four demands the vc only agree the uh, three demands they uh, accept designation of his from his first so is in of him first finally we got remaining three uh, demands achievements this is the great historical thing in this campus first time the 
Raju and Venkatesh already come to go the indefinite hunger strike in this camp. This is a historical thing in this camp. This is a united of the all SCST, BC and minority religious in this campus. I am, I am requesting to the outside of the Bhajan uh, organizations who are active involved in the against of caste discrimination. Please, uh, please go. I mean, write a letter to HRD and and please complain uh, SCST atrocity act case on on the voice sensor of SCU and please uh, give a petition in, uh, do a petition in Supreme Court by this caste discrimination deaths so please do that work it's, it is be helpful to in this campus thank you for this opportunity I will. University is a university. University university. The university is a university. The university is a university. The university university. The university is a university. The university is a university. The university is a university. The university is Anek man the Vidyarduku, Anek man the Professor Lato, Baditulu Amari, Walla Vedim Puraku, Guriotu, Anek man the Sanipota Unar, Yala Hydra Central Slogani, Iflu Inverse Slogani, Anek man at the Inverse Slogan, Central Institute Yala Guriotu Sanipota on a Parasitlo, Dalita Vidyarduga, Girizana Vidyarduga, Bajana Vidyarduga, Yala Me Mandaram Gadri, Edetuna, Yala Central Inversitlo, Y Visharman, Samajan Tiliale, Y Visharmanum. Hanisatum to Gadu, Horadi, Yani endo del Scorano, Kudeshamto, Yala, Amar Nirahar Dixaku, Yania National Matter, Committee Esconi, Razu and Venkate Solidarity Committee Escon Kuchoni, Pedetuna, Idrol Patu, Demon Yashi, Central University Law, Darita Pajana, Girijan Lante, Tlunta, Zupichinum, Yala, Ayoka, University Administration Digochi, Yala Vidyardo, Konta Nam, Jesse Bagam Loga, Vidyardiki, Konta Ardikangagani, Udeo Parangan, Koni Vishalo, Yal Langochin, maybe Pergi of Town. I will be able to get the university to the university to get 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 the university to University, Bahujan University, Oka, Telangana, Murundalatum, Mandi Vidar, Sanipa, Walla, Kavarsa to University, Walla, Katmakor, Pora Tamlo, Bang, Wachin Rutiga, Matmakor, and Nilbetun, the Shaka Mundu Botani, Rabaya Kamlo, Telangana, Chakramlo, Telangana Pilani, Yal Rangari Dilo, University, Rangari di Pilaki, the only Parasitunadi, di, then Pedetun Rabaya Kamlo, Bahujan Vidar, Lamarki, Tereyesi, Pedetun, Telangana Pilan Guchi, Anjibe, Anagarina, or Galanichi, which a Pilaguda, University of Sadukre Vidanga, Rabaya Kamlo. Telangana Student Association, Karunaga and Telia Stamina. Any Motuma Kuma Lella Koyilama Pata Vadu Tunadi, Jehitelangana Nadi, Alasipoina Lady Kuna, Gantu Lestan Nadi, Kaliga Jagadatan Nadi, Panam Boy, make up. Dappu naita nannadi, dandora vesta nannadi, ipudu butti na leka doora, dumkula du tunnadi, dumdam jesta nannadi, kumalallo, kumalallo koi lamma pata vadu tunnadi, jai telanga nannadi, salla gali vichi poruku piraita. Adi Purdu Bosan Nadi 
అక్క బావ చిత్తులతో చిత్తు చేస్తానన్నది పెద్ద ప్లాను గీస్తానన్నది పావురాలు ఏకమై కబురు దేస్తానన్నయి కాపాడుకుంటానన్నయి జీవరాసులు కాటయి జెండా పట్టుకున్నయి జే జేలు బలుకుతున్నయి కుమాలల్లో కుమాలల్లో పొయ్యిలమ్మ పాట వాడుతున్నది జై తెలంగాణ అన్నది నారుమడిలో నీరు నైత వాటా బంచమన్నయి వగువంకాలడుగుతున్నయి కృష్ణమ్మ గోదారమ్మలు కదిలి వస్తానన్నయి కన్నీరొద్దంటున్నయి సెట్టు సేమల నీవుకి బాకులైతనన్నయి బంధువుకులేస్తామన్నయి ఓడ్నా పిట్ట ముక్కు తోటి కన్ను చేస్తానన్నది తెలంగాణను దెమ్మన్నది కుమాలల్లో కుమాలల్లో కోయిలమ్మ పాట వాడుతున్నది జై తెలంగాణ అన్నది అడవిలున్న ఆకులన్నీ అలికిడి చేస్తున్నాయి అలా ఈ బలై తీసుకున్నాయి సల్లా గాలి విచి పొరుకు ఊపిరైతనన్నది అది పొరుడు మోస్తనన్నది పొడి సేటి పొద్దు గూడ పొద్దు గూకనన్నది పొరుకు సై అంటున్నది కుమాలల్లో సీమలన్నీ జంటా బట్టి ర్యాలీ తీస్తామన్నయి మేము రణం చేస్తామన్నయి ముదుగు పూలు అమరులకు దండాలైతమన్నయి మెడలు దండాలైతమన్నయి ఎర్రటి ఆ మందారాలు ఎదల కద్దుకొని విరుల మదిలో దలుసుకున్నయి వానా చినుకు రాలి స్థూపం కడిగి వేస్తానన్నది అది కండ్లా కద్దుకున్నది అమరుల త్యాగాల మొలక అమరుల త్యాగాల మొలక చిగురు వేస్తానన్నది తెలంగాణ చూస్తానన్నది కుమాలల్లో కులాల రాజు అంటే సోలే అంటే కంపెనీకి మేము సపోర్ట్ చేయడం చాలా అన్ని యూనియన్ సంఘాలు కలిసి పనిచేస్తున్నాం ఎందుకంటే ఇది ఏ ఒక్కరి అనేది విజయం కాకుండా అందరి కలిసి విజయంతగా ముందుకు సాగుతున్న ప్రోగ్రామ్ ఆందోళన కొన్ని దీంట్లో అవకతకలు కూడా కనబడ్డాయి మొన్న మూడు రోజులు అయిన తర్వాత నిరాహార దీక్షలు పోలీసు వచ్చి డిస్టర్బెన్స్లు కూడా చేయడం జరిగింది దానివల్ల ఏంటంటే దీని వెనకాల ప్రత్యక్షంగా వీళ్ళు వాళ్ళు సపోర్ట్ అవ్వడం వల్ల డిస్టర్బ్ చేయడం కంజోర్ చేయడానికి ప్రయత్నాలు జరిగాయి అవి ఎంత జరిగినా విఫలయత్నం చేసి మేము ముందు విజయవంతంగా అనేది ప్రోగ్రాం నడిపించినాం ఈ ఉద్యమం అనేది ముందుకు సాగించినాం ఇది అంతా అందరి యొక్క సపోర్టేడ్తో ఇంతవరకు చేరుకోగలం ఇప్పుడు ఫైనల్గా విసి వచ్చి మా మూడు డిమాండ్లని అంగీకరించారు ఇంకా ఫైనల్ ఆ రిజర్వేషన్ డిమాండ్ కూడా అది దాంట్లో కూడా సక్సెస్ అవుతా అన్న నమ్మకం ఉంది ఈ యూనివర్సిటీ యూనియన్ సంఘాలతో పాటు వేరే స్టేట్ లెవెల్ యూనియన్ సంఘాలు కూడా ఈ ఉద్యమానికి సపోర్ట్ ఇచ్చినాయి వీటితో పాటు దేశ నలుమూలంగు ప్రముఖ విశ్వవిద్యాలయాల్లో రాష్ట్ర విశ్వవిద్యా రాష్ట్ర విశ్వవిద్యాలయాల్లో కూడా ఈ ఉద్యమం పాకినది ఆల్రెడీ ఎందుకంటే దీని వెనకాల మెయిన్ కారణం ఇప్పటి నుంచి యూనివర్సిటీ నిర్మాణ దగ్గర నుంచి ఇవాళ దాకా రెండు వేల పదమూడు దాకా ఎన్నో హత్యలు జరుగుతున్నాయి అధికతర ఎక్కువ శాతం అయితే రిజర్వేషన్లే జరుగుతున్నాయి ఎందుకు అది ఎస్సీ ఎస్టీ జరుగుతున్నాయి ఎస్సీ ఎస్టీ కూడా ఆత్మహత్య జరిగింది అబ్బాయిలు ఇద్దరు ఎందుకంటే ఎందుకు వీటిలాగా క్లియర్గా అర్థమవుతుంది ఏంటంటే వెనకాల ఉంది జాతీయ వ్యవస్థ అనేది ఒక సమస్య అనేది కనపడకుండా అది ఒక వేధిస్తుంది అనమాట ఏ వాళ్ళైతే మన ఇండియాటర్గా ప్రత్యక్షంగా ఇక్కడ వస్తుంది కనబడుతుంది క్లియర్ కట్ ముందు ముందు ఇలాంటి సమస్యలు యూనివర్సిటీలో తలెత్తకుండా అనేది మా పోరాటం మెయిన్ ఎందుకంటే మన తరాలు వస్తారు మన నవభార పౌరులు వస్తారు ఇలాంటి వాటికి సమస్య తలెత్తకుండా ఇలాంటి ఒత్తిడి లేకుండా ఉండాలనేదే మాది ఎందుకంటే చిన్నప్పటి నుంచి ఈ బాల్య వ్యవస్థ నుంచే ఎన్నో స్ట్రగుల్ చేసి ఒక రిజర్వేషన్ కానీ ఎన్నో స్ట్రగుల్ చేసి పోయేదాకా ఇక్కడ దాకా నెంబర్ వన్ యూనివర్సిటీ రావడం అంటే అది అంత ఆశమేష విషయం కాదు ఇక్కడ వచ్చిన తర్వాత కూడా ఒక ఒత్తిడి ఫ్యాకల్టీ రిపోర్ట్లో డిపార్ట్మెంట్లో ఒక రిసెర్చ్ కాలకి ఎందుకంటే అది చాలా భరించరా అనేది ఎన్నో విధాలు మేము కంప్లీట్ చేసిన మీడియా త్రూ ద్వారా ఎందుకంటే కొన్ని విషయాలు మాకు సపోర్ట్ అవ్వడం లేదు కాదు ఇలాంటి ఇక్కడ స్టూడెంట్కి ఈ జాతి కాస్ట్ పైన సమస్యలు తెలియటం దాని జాతీయ స్థాయిలో ఈ ఇష్యూ బయట వెళ్ళట్లేదు అనమాట మీడియా అయినా మాకు సపోర్ట్ అవ్వడం కొంచెం ఇది తక్కువ అనాలి 
అప్పుడే కొంచెం ఫోకస్ జాతీయ స్థాయిలో కానీ ఉద్యోగం చదివితే కానీ ఇలాంటి సమస్యలు తక్కువ అవుతాయని నేను వెంకప్ప భావిస్తున్నాను అంటే ఆల్రెడీ మా వంతు యూనియన్ సంఘాల తరఫున మేము ప్రయత్నాలు అయితే జరుగుతున్నాయి కానీ ఇంకా ఏది పర్మనెంట్ పుల్ స్టాప్ అనేది దీనికి ఏదైనా రావట్ల యూనివర్సిటీలో ఇంకా ఇది హైలో అందరూ తల దూర్చుకొని బాగా అది ఇలాంటివి జరగకుండా ముందు జరగకుండా ప్రయత్నాలు అనేది జరగాలని నేను ఆశిస్తున్నాను ఇంకా ఎందుకంటే ఈ ఉద్యోగం తర్వాత నాకు ముఖ్యంగా అర్థమైంది ఏంటంటే ఎవరైతే ఇలాంటి చేస్తారో సమస్యలు పిల్లల మీద ఒత్తిడి తేస్తారో జాతీయవేత్త అనేది ప్రొఫెసర్ అయినా ఫ్యాకల్టీ అయినా ప్రతి ఒక్కరికి చెమట్లైనా అయితే పట్టి భయం అనేది ఒకటి తెలిసి వచ్చింది ఇలాంటి ఇంకా జరగవు అనేది మాకు చూస్తుంది అనిపిస్తుంది ఇప్పుడు చాలామంది ఇప్పుడు దళిత్ వాళ్ళు ఇక్కడ వచ్చి చదువుతున్నారు చదివేప్పుడు ఎట్లా కాస్ట్ డిస్క్రిమినేషన్ ఎట్లా ఎట్లా కాస్ట్ డిస్క్రిమినేషన్ ఈ యూనివర్సిటీలో ఉంది అది చెప్తారా కాస్ట్ డిస్క్రిమినేషన్ అయితే అది ప్రత్యేకంగా ప్రత్యక్షంగా అయితే మనం చెప్పరు ఎందుకంటే మీరు రిజర్ రిజర్వేషన్ అయితే అదే ఒక చూ హావ్ భావాల్లో మనం అర్థమవుతుంది ఎందుకంటే రిజర్వ్ తీరు కొంతమంది ఎందుకంటే అధికారులు యావరేజ్ స్టాండర్డ్ అని వాళ్ళకు భావన అనమాట తెలుగు మీడియం నుంచి వచ్చిన వాళ్ళు ఎందుకంటే రిజర్వేషన్ మ్యాక్సిమం వాళ్ళ ఎకనామికల్ పరిస్థితి కూడా బాగున్న కారణ గవర్నమెంట్ స్కూల్లో ప్రభుత్వ శాలలో విశ్వవిద్యాలయ చదువుకొని వస్తారు కాబట్టి కొంచెం నాలెడ్జ్ పరంగా కూడా కొంచెం డిఫరెంట్ ఉండొచ్చు అది మేము చెప్పలేదు ఎందుకంటే నా అంచనా ప్రకారం ఎందుకంటే వాళ్ళు అంచనా చేస్తారు ఊరికని ఒక చిన్న చూపు అనమాట హావభావాల్లోనే వ్యవహారాల్లో ఇదైతే మనం ప్రత్యేకంగా చూడవచ్చు అనే విధాలు ఆ సందర్భాలు ఒకవేళ స్కాలర్షిప్ వచ్చినా జాబ్ వచ్చినా వాళ్ళు సహించలేదు అనమాట వచ్చారు కులాలు ఎందుకంటే ఎన్నో ఉదాహరణలు ఉన్నాయి మీకు డబ్బులు పద్నాలుగు పదిహేను ఏళ్ళ ప్రతి ఒక్కరు మండు పట్టకతో ఒక ఆనందం వ్యంగ్యాలు మీరు ఎప్పుడైనా గమనించారో గమనించలేదు సమాజంలో మీరు దేవుడి పుట్టులు ఇది పక్కడ ఒక వ్యంగ్యం అనమాట రిజర్వేషన్ మీద దేవుడి పుత్రులు అనమాట రిజర్వేషన్ వస్తే వాళ్ళ సమస్యలు ఎవరు తెలియవు ఏదైనా ఒక స్కాలర్షిప్ కానీ ఏదైనా ఒక రిజర్వేషన్ కానీ ఏదైనా అనుభవించు కానీ ఏదైనా సీటు పొందిన మీ దేవుడి పుత్రులు అన్ని మీకే సొంతం అంటే ఆ మాటల్లోనే మనం అర్థమవుతున్నాం ఏ విధంగా ఏడుపోనేది వాళ్ళు ఓరో లేదన్నమాట ఒక దళితులో డెవలపింగ్ కానీ తెల్ల షర్టులు కానీ ఏదైనా ఒక పదవి మీద కూర్చున్నారు మీరు ఎక్కడ పోయి చదువుకారు దీని ముందుకి ఇప్పుడు హెచ్ వచ్చే ముందుకి మీరు ఎక్కడ చదువుకారు నేను చదువుకున్నది చదువుకున్నది పాలం సార్ నేషనల్ డిగ్రీ కాలేజ్ నేషనల్ డిగ్రీ అక్కడ కాస్ట్ డిస్క్రిమినేషన్ అట్లా అలాంటి లేదు అక్కడైతే నేను చదువుకున్న డిగ్రీ కాలేజీలో ఇలాంటి నేను ఎప్పుడు చేసుకోలేదు ఈ సెంట్రల్ యూనివర్సిటీలోనే చూస్తున్నారు ఎందుకంటే ఇక్కడ వచ్చాక ఎందుకంటే మేము చదువుకునేది ఇప్పుడు చిన్నప్పుడులో మొత్తం గిరిజన హాస్టల్ మేము చదువుకున్నాం అక్కడ మొత్తం రిజర్వేషన్ క్యాండిడేట్లు ఉన్నాయి తర్వాత డిగ్రీలో కూడా ఎస్సీ ఎస్టీ హాస్టల్లోనే చదువుకున్నాను అక్కడ సిక్స్ సిక్స్ థౌజండ్ ఆరు ఏళ్ళ మంది ఉంటారు సోషల్ వెల్ఫేర్ సోషల్ వెల్ఫేర్ త్రీ థౌజండ్ అయితే ఎస్సీ పిల్లలు అయితే త్రీ థౌజండ్ అలా ఎస్టీ ఎస్సీ ఎస్టీ హాస్టల్స్ ఎందుకంటే అక్కడ మాకు ఇలాంటి అభ్యంతరాలు కనపడలేదు బెదాయి ప్రయాణం ఇదే మేము ఎందుకంటే ఇలాంటి ముందు జరగకుండా ఎందుకంటే ఫ్యాకల్టీ ఇండైరెక్ట్గా సతాయించడు గైడ్ కానీ తీసుకోకపోవడం డైరెక్ట్గా అర్థమైంది ఈ ఇష్యూలో మన వెంకటేశ్వర సాలిడ్ కంపెనీలో క్లియర్గా అర్థమైంది ఎందుకంటే ఒక పై అథారిటీ దాకా లెటర్ వచ్చిందంటే ఆయన ఎంత వేదన అనుభవించి ఉంటారు ఒకసారి ఆలోచించాలి ఫ్యాకల్టీని మూడు సంవత్సరాల దాకా గైడ్ లేకపోవడం అంటే ఇది నాట్ ఎ జాబ్ టార్చర్ ఏదైనా ఒక లిమిట్ ఉండేది ఏదైనా ఈ సమస్య అయినా భరించడం అయినా దానికి అన్లిమిటేషన్లు అయితే అది ఇండియన్గా అది ఆత్మహత్య కాదు పరోక్షంగా అది హత్య కింద మనం నిర్మించబడుతుంది దీనికైనా ఒక హద్దులు ఉంటుంది ఇంట్లో కూడా అది మన ఇక్కడ దాకా రావడం ఎన్నో స్ట్రగుల్ నుంచి ఇక్కడ కూడా అదే స్ట్రగుల్ అంటే పిహెచ్డి లెవెల్ దాకా కూడా ఎందుకంటే తట్టు అప్సైడ్ ఏదైనా ఒక క్షణంలో ఆలోచన సరైనదే తురంక మనం సూసైడ్ చేయలేము అది రేర్ ఇప్పుడు దాకా మూడు సంవత్సరాలు జరిగింది ఏమిటి ఏంటి అది ఒక నెగిటివ్ థాట్స్ రావడం అలా మనోభావాలకి ఒత్తిడిలు గురవడం ఇలాంటి సరైన డిస్టర్బ్ చేయడం ఇలాంటివి గురవుతున్నాయి Yeah. Hi, uh, this is Kapil Kaur Javaskar from the University of Hyderabad. At the outset, let me say this is very unfortunate for the campus, like University of Hyderabad, where people come for the higher studies and do their research. There is a huge discrimination inside the campus, in the departments, in the administration regarding the students' problems that should be addressed. This is not the new case when we lay... Venkates and previous person, Kulaila Raju, both of them committed suicide because of the discrimination which is going on in the departments as well as in the administration. There are other victims also. They, they belong to a marginal community and the case starts with Senthil Kumar. Senthil Kumar was a very uh, studious student and he was doing PhD in the department of physics. The kind of you know, uh, psychological humiliation, caste discrimination and the torture he 
and underwent that led him to commit suicide and leave the world. This is nothing what a kind of demoralizing people in the campuses like University of Hyderabad, where these conventional, traditional, caste-based discrimination is going on. But as far as the campus is concerned, uh, people should be free to share their views. If there is any problem on the part of a student, they should protest. Is there any kind of discrimination, people should come all together. And that is what the students are doing. But as a response from the administration, not now, but earlier also, they do not accept that there is a caste discrimination on the campus. And this is very instrument for a you know, campus like University of Hyderabad, where we people are observing that there is a caste discrimination. But the current VC, Professor Ramakrishna Ramaswamy, is not ready to accept at all that there is a caste discrimination in University of Hyderabad. These two students who died recent, in the recent months, they were very hardworking students. They were pursuing their you know, research. Okay. And the kind of work they were doing is very remarkable. And the department itself should have you know, said that it was very good that these two students were there in their departments. But the kind of discrimination has been done with these people, they lost hope on the administration as well as the department. And they lost their life. Recent case of Venkatesh Madri, is, is, is very you know, kind of case which clearly shows that there is a caste discrimination. In the department, other students who take the admission at the same time, they are allocated the research supervisor, but not this fellow. Why? This is a question which everyone is asking. Why this person was not allocated the research supervisors in the department? This shows that there is a clear-cut caste discrimination in which the people belong to marginal community, belonging to SC, ST, OVC and other religious you know, uh, minorities in which these people are coming from. They face a lot of exclusion, discrimination when it comes to the you know, higher departments like University of Hyderabad. As part of the Solidarity Committee, we all people protested all together, but these only people were from the marginalized communities. It was very sad that the whole campus was not all together. We were the people only from the ASA, from BSF, from other, you know, the Bhajan students group who took the initiative and we set the hunger strike. We demanded that there should be a resign of VC, there should be a judicial proof for the case, there should be a kind of punishment to the guilty, and fourth one, there should be a financial assistance to the people of these victims. In the beginning, VC was not ready to accept any one of that. But then, under the pressure of the English strike, VC came forward and he accepted that there is a discrimination, but he is not AD, he is not ready to accept there is a caste discrimination. In a sense, he has agreed to the three of the demands of the people, but the first one he is denying. He is denying by saying that there is no caste discrimination on the campus. But so far we are concerned we cannot accept this what we see has said that there is no caste discrimination it's very clear cut even the reports which have been you know come as part of the committee they have recommended that there is a structural violence in the campus and people like Venkates are victim of all that so this is very unfortunate for the campus this is very very unfortunate for the campus that uh, we have been observing people of ours very loving brothers they are dying they are losing their life and this is all because of the structural violence which is going on the campus. On the behalf of all the Solidarity Committee members, I, I, I thank all of them that they have taken this initiative in the University of Hyderabad and the kind of pressure, the kind of environment they created has made administration to realize that there is a problem and they have to take this forward. Let's see what happens in the future. You are from Thanks. which organization? I belong to BSF. BSF. I belong to ASA. I belong to all that is the students organization. Okay, I have a few uh, questions. Because I want to ask every organization here. See, the question is, uh, yeah, we always, we students always accuse the administration part. It is true. It is the fact that administration is very casteist. But however, uh, three suicides have happened. What are the, I'm not talking about your stand. General organizations as, talk as of a student. Uh, if a student has died and Sendil has died, mm -hmm. then ne next Pulayala Raju died. Mm -hmm. Now this person has died. But what did the students movement do, apart from asking uh, compensation? That is not going to solve the problem of the students who come forward. You, oh, so that, what are the things? Uh, do, that I, I feel that students organizations have failed actually. They should realize that they failed in 
bring that that's what i see but you can comment on that i feel students organization failed to protect like pulayala raju hmm. failed to bring those science department students hmm. into the forefront to give confidence so i feel like that what do you see actually in a way your observation is correct but when it comes to the, the case of these these students who are you know, yeah. uh, not in this world hmm. it is a clear cut indication of how these people have been discriminated though those santhil kumar belongs to science community mm -hmm. he was from physics department mm -hmm. but he was from marginalized community he was from marginalized community mm -hmm. when he died not a single person from the science community came forward to take this issue that santhil kumar is the victim of system there were rumors that santhil kumar actually was not able to pursue phd because of his personal reasons because of his you know lack of interest in the studies and that was this overall perception on the part of science student but when we people came all together we realized that this is not the case the case is that santhil kumar is a bright student but he belongs to the lit category and he has been victimized in the system he has been victimized in the department and the kind of pressure he underwent in the last phase of his phd that made him to leave this world Mm -hmm. so this was actually a case which could have been brought out by all the student organizations but there was a failure there was a failure as part of the student community but so far as dalit student organizations are concerned they took up this issue they went to administration and they made administration to realize that there is something wrong with the administration as well as the yeah. department ara when santhil kumar was died it was only as Ambedkar Students Association, which took up the issue, and they met the VC, the Estrar, and other officials in the administration. DSU also did. DSU did. DSU, DSU also did. Yeah, and all these organizations all together picked up the issue and they dealt with it, not the other student organizations. That's okay, but after that, uh, the Pulayala Raju died. and now this guy died now also you have the compensation yeah. same demands you have yeah. same judicial probe you have so that i mean to ask you you all accuse no we all students hmm. very easily accuse the vice chancellor it is true through the fact that we have to accuse hmm. but don't we also see our responsibility also we failed in our responsibility making sure that students come forward to us for an example what i mean to ask is what are the programs we have sensitizing the students not on the issue of uh, ambedkar jayanti <laughs> other festivals reservation debate so in that case i'm asking i'm 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 talking in a student's perspective yeah, as a student of some university yeah yeah, yeah. basically basically the, the 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 kind of response if if comes from a person to the yeah. questions like you have asked mm -hmm. is actually how the the administration is functioning in this campus the kind of biasness administration has toward the students the kind of response administration gives to the students there is a clear cut distinction between the students in this campus the kind of response people belonging to marginalized community yeah. get from the administration that does not make them to feel in the future there will be no casualty on the part of their students this becomes only a kind of response from the administration by say we will give some kind of financial compensation we will provide a judicial probe to the students who have come to suicide and we will also look after the administration in terms of responding to these problems in the future but again and again these problems occur in the campus and and media is witness for that why only dalit students are dying in this campus not only in this campus this is happening if it happens in the country as a whole okay. it is not the media who comes forward it is the dalit students it is the dalit activists it is the sensitive people in the this marginal community they come forward and they share this tragedy with the public with the media and then media comes here and this is the issue in this campus also the other student organizations mm -hmm. verbally they can say we are supporting when yeah, it comes you to talk action, about sfi when when it comes to the action mm. they do not support you refer to sfi and abvp i am not you know naming any any organization but that's a very clear cut indication of this campus in the last four days you can see who are the part of this protest who are the people have been behind the hunger strike who have been the forefront in terms of dealing with the vc the administration the registrar and this shows that the student union itself is okay. skipping from the <laughs> you know kind of discourse they could have 
created. They have not been part of it. Then certainly students organization should take the responsibility. It's the responsibility of the students organization, the campus to take responsibility. And more than that is actually the student union itself. Okay, can I... It should not be confined to a particular yeah. party or group. It should be representing all the students in the same manner. But it doesn't happen in this campus usually. Okay, can I uh, assume that uh, even the activists are not conscious at all? Hmm. No, students activist. We are talking about the Pulayala Raju who is not even uh, caste consciously being part of any movement. But here, you, the way you speak, I also realize that even the activists are not conscious at all about caste discrimination. Can we say like that? Actually, in the beginning, it becomes very ambiguous to say there is a caste discrimination. Because all the time people blame Dalits marginal community that whenever they talk they talk always from the caste perspective so being an institution which provides the modern education we the intellectual always try to understand it little differently mm -hmm. but when it comes to the logical understanding mm -hmm. that makes us to realize that there is a structural violence there is a structural humiliation mm -hmm. there is a caste discrimination because the person who belongs to this category is always victim in this campus. Mm -hmm. The people who have lost their lives in this campus, they belong to marginal community. And mm -hmm. you know, if we do not speak on behalf of them, mm -hmm. nobody comes forward. Mm -hmm. And that's why somewhere we have succeeded, but in certain cases we also fail. Because we do not get the solidarity from the other student organizations as such. So there is a legacy behind that. Sometimes administration is responding to the problems, sometimes administration is not responding at all. And this is very unfortunate at this time that the four people went on hunger strike regarding the Pilar Raju Venkatesh case. It was not a kind of spontaneous action. VC himself has set up the committee, committee has recommended, and what we did actually, we just only demanded that we should act upon that. But VC has been failing on that. So when he failed, when he could not do anything, we were not left with any alternative. And that was our demand. Mm -hmm. We should start hunger strike so that administration as well as VC should recognize there is a problem. Mm -hmm. There is a problem and they should be responsible in the part of officials to come forward and take up the issue. So far as sensitizing the students is concerned, there is always a kind of you know talk on the issues of discrimination, exclusion, political you know, empowerment and the kind of people from the gender community come in the campuses, how they feel the, uh, the, the campus itself. Does campus belong to them? That student community as a whole stands for all the students or they are segregated. These are the issues which they have been taking up. People are sensitive about it. But you know, sometimes what happens when personal is going under a kind of pressure which is very personal between supervisor and him, it's very difficult to reveal it to the people. It's very difficult to share with the people. And the kind of pressure makes him to leave the world is sometimes a very you know, kind of pressure which he cannot reveal to others. But if you go to the structural conditions, it makes us to realize that there is a discrimination. People are victim of that. And this is only happening with the Dalit students on campus. Campus is witness to that. Media is witness to that. And all the recommendations which committee has forward is actually telling that there is a caste in this campus. And administration should take up the issue rather than undermining, rather than ignoring these issues. Because this is not the only case in the campus. Future can be revealing the similar incidents and accidents in the campus. So administration should learn from it, they should act towards it, and they should not be biased in this case. Thank you. This is what actually is part of the student community I would like to oh. say, and I give a full stop here. Thank you. Thanks.